Imagine you're a doctor in a large city and a bioterrorist attack has occurred. People are frantic. The freeways are jammed. The hospitals are overrun with the sick and worried. The pathogen is too small to be seen and spreading. People expect the public health system and you to act now to save lives. What do you do? Ideally, such a health official would have facts. He'd have access to processed information designed to support a community's preparedness and emergency response system. If such a system existed, a counterattack could begin to be organized in minutes. The system would identify where the outbreak occurred and who was immunized. It would alert public health authorities, physicians, emergency medical personnel, the community, and the federal government. It would be clear who was at risk and how to proceed with an effective defense. Accurate and timely information is one of the best defenses against an outbreak or a bioterrorist attack. A critical pillar of information for emergency preparedness, incident management and follow-up are immunization registries. In their most basic form, immunization registries track the vaccine histories of a community. They provide an information resource for physicians and public health officials to ensure residents are protected from naturally occurring vaccine-preventable diseases. Unfortunately, these same community providers must now be concerned with introduced diseases such as smallpox. The rules have changed. The public health mission has been expanded. Information is vital, and the immunization registry is the foundation of this information defense. This registry must now not only support ongoing activities such as school-age immunization or the adult flu season programs, the registry must now also support emergency preparedness and event management. The registry must now contain immunization histories of first responders and all healthcare professionals. It must provide the ability to quickly identify available resources to dispatch to an area and provide tools for identifying the at-risk population. A registry must support the collection of mass immunizations and pharmaceutical distributions at remote clinics. It must track and report adverse events and support the follow-up investigation sure to come. Health officials must be able to quickly target areas surrounding an incident with immunization and response actions to increase defenses and create biological firewalls. Registry tools which can illustrate pockets of need or low immunization rates are now vital components of these systems. Decision makers who can visualize how the outbreak might spread will be able to react and improve their emergency defense plan. They will be able to plan medical stockpile distribution points and establish emergency immunization clinics in the most critical areas. A relatively small amount of information will aid greatly in emergency preparedness. The methods of collecting raw data are well developed. Unfortunately, the technology that now exists to process this data hasn't been fully utilized. States such as Louisiana are beginning to leverage their immunization registries to support these types of activities. A proactive use of the immunization data is the operative word. <laughs> immunization registries should be a component of a larger emergency preparedness strategy. They are a true population-based health information resource. When integrated with other data sources, including area demographic information, disease reporting, surveillance systems, and the health alert network, they create a tightly woven web of information resources. Resources to support public health protection, provide early warning, and support decision and incident management. Information should be available to support public health's role to unveil the landscape of the pathogen. Preparedness is the key to prevention and impact minimization. An immunization registry will support this goal. When that call comes, if we are prepared and we have available information in a timely fashion, it will be possible to rise above any adversary and overcome any problem. History has proven, and it will again, that it only takes one person with the access to the right information at the right time to make the difference.